All right. That was my hair. All right. <laughs>
guess what? We always like to start at 50. Mm. But just leave it. That's off. It is off, yeah. So why am I so dark? That's clean song volume back a little bit. Uh, what do you think? Like a single note kind of thing? Um, you know, you could always, well. I was just going to just flip the voicing switch to okay. start. Down. Yeah, a little brighter. Uh, boy, treble's straight up, bass straight up. Well, treble is straight up ish. <clears throat> pull the, pull the volume down a little bit. So. <laughs> Flip that switch back up on. Same kind of stuff. Sorry. I think definitely for what you're playing, that the the, the down position is working for you. Personally. Little yeah. kind of high end bite on yeah. it, right? tried to push the gain up a little bit volume back bump the treble a little bit bump the bass it has a really weird it has a very weird feel to it to me it's yeah. very it, it's strange it's good it's a good I, and I've been trying to think ever since we turned on what it what is what how would I describe this mm -hmm. feel to me and I think about like um, the vertex effects um, their boost pedal, mm -hmm. which I have, and like a lot of times, if I go from a humbucker guitar to a single coil guitar, I hit that boost pedal on it. But if we were able to play louder, like if I was able to turn the amp over three and a half without getting yelled at, I probably would run that pedal all the time because it does. It just gives like this nice little, mm -hmm. and I kind of feel like that's giving that nice little something to it. Mm -hmm. It's not a real heavy overdrive. Um, maybe. Like, I'm feeling like, even when you have the gain up that high, and yeah. I, it, it's not like, I don't know how it's going to come across on the computer, but it doesn't feel super fuzzy to me. No, no. Mm -mm. Or super driven. Right. But it has sustain, it has those overtones, it has, mm -hmm. um, that's one I'd like to try, like, in a in a live situation like see how does that cut out over right does it lose i bet it i bet it'd be pretty sweet yeah it's definitely different um and it's funny because we've commented before that when we get into some level of overdrive we end up having every pedal sound the same we can't do that with this one which is okay right, right. it's different like i can't but a lot of times when you talk about like 
um, the transparent overdrives. Like, we haven't had a Timmy here, but we had some stuff that are kind of like the Timmy or whatever. The Amp 11 was more of a transparent overdrive, right? It wasn't, I didn't think like a real heavy overdrive, right? right? right. Uh, transparent overdrive, <laughs> Abe, it, you know, whatever. Um, where would you put that in your overdrive chain? I, would, I would put that about 5 o'clock. Um, <laughs> that's my, over, uh, my stacking of pedals. A lot of those, though, I feel like they give it some stuff, but they lose out on the sustain. Mm. Like, does that make sense? And then if I just take one note here, slide up into, like, a note... <laughs> feel like right and i mean that, it started to die a little bit but it didn't just disappear on me where some of those other right. and that was without the delay and just a little bit of reverb that's on that amp yeah so i like i like that aspect of it yeah um your guitar is so now hot. we'll go uh stratocaster which um is not mine i came guitarless because I tend to keep a lot of my things at, at our at our church and my number one is at woodshed I was hoping to see a picture of it on his Instagram page, which means he's working on it. So, uh, so I came over here and borrowed this guitar that may not be the most popular color with some, so it <laughs> does not go out of the house often. But I, I love it. It's, it's. A, I believe we said it was a '99 American uh, Fender Strat uh, Deluxe, locking tuners. I don't know when the last time it was played. Pulled it off the shelf up there, if you will, and played it. It was in tune, and uh, it's got noiseless pickups, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, second guitar I ever bought, first real guitar investment, you know. Um, obviously, before I met my wife, yes, yes. Uh, because my wife hates the color of that guitar, which is why I have a white strat hanging up on the wall because I'm allowed to take the white strat. I had to get another strat because I wasn't allowed to take this one. Maybe we'll get into the uh, non approved guitars at some point. You believe you have a sparkly Gretsch, you have some other guitars that stay here in the, in the, in the beard cave. Down in the basement here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we, I turned the pedal off, uh, as you can see. Um, let's go just fourth position for now. Everything wide open, and uh, just play some chords. So the spank of a strat, and then uh, I guess we'll, I guess we reset it at fifty fifty percent everywhere. And uh, see see what happens. trick pony here right we're very different players and the down switch tickled your ear and the way you played it sounded good that for me feels more comfortable to me up yeah for whatever reason it's probably a little darker and again if you've watched any of our videos i like that big full like kind of really smooth smooth but it gets lost in the mix sometimes but i tend to go to that so anyway uh that was my two cents worth it so i guess just you could start i don't know what do you want I know we just kind of started with uh, continued with the gain and volume down on yours. So, uh, so bring the volume down a little bit, bring the gain up a little bit. Yeah, I'll do you want less treble, more treble, more bass, less bass? Uh, I dare say it, but slightly more bass and slightly less treble. Like now, did you less? look? No, what? Because some of these guys do like bass cuts and bass. Is it more bass if we turn it up? I don't know. I didn't feel like I don't know. Play now. I don't know. Chord. Bass definitely adds trouble when you go. Yeah, it adds sure. a lot of trouble for sure. Yeah. All right, now it wouldn't be a demo that I'm doing if we don't go 
back to the bridge, cut a little tone out, and dime the dime the game. <laughs> I turned the back wide open. I could live with that, depending on what we're playing. Um. So I'll just stay there, I guess. say this but come back off the game just a little bit I'm trying to see if I were to kind of warm it up a little bit or, you know not bring a little volume up and yeah, bring kind the But it's another pedal that, with the the toggle switch and a bass and tone that does definitely have a big time range in it, it could find a home. I mean, just do that treble one time. Like if you play just a couple simple chords and then be like, go down and sweep through the treble real quick. Right. <laughs> Computer speakers or your man earbuds. I wrote that all the way up. And yeah, I was like, Phew. so. So maybe not the most inspiring, uh, uh, quick look, but it's a different pedal, right? So we we did toy with it just very briefly, just to check the computer more than anything, because uh, there's some new other equipment behind the scenes here. So it really is a true first look. Uh, you know, look what we found. Um, probably not doing justice to the DMBL name, but. Kind of showing you what it can do. It can sit in a different spot, yeah. maybe on your pedal board, and uh... now you know what I think. You know, thinking about the pedals that I use right now, like there would be a spot for that. Maybe I have two overdrive pedals on my board right now that, and one gets used ninety nine percent of the time. Mm -hmm. Where I could see taking the other one because they sound so similar. They really do. They sound so similar. That would have like kind of a different tonality to it. But one that I like, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I have tried the 
um, electro-harmonic soul food. I've tried the Amp 11. I've tried the, you know, some of that stuff, and I keep just going away from it because I find that I don't use it. Mm -hmm. um, that has more of a... It seems like it would have a place. And I wonder, you know, I mean, I'm sure somebody will try, could chime in that has used that mm -hmm. in conjunction with another right. overdrive pedal. Well, like I said, because we are such close friends, $125 is yours. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we talked about, Pat, I mean, we could get into the pedal stacking thing. So there's people that would talk about pedal stacking. Right, right, right. Um, and Pat and I joked that we pedal stack, you know, well, right. I, I pedal stack here. You know, mm -hmm. like there's my, you're my clean, my over, slight overdrive. Right. First overdrive, second overdrive, you know, whatever. Um, you can use the label maker and put it on your guitar. And show, right. you know, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy zone. Yeah, right. Stacked zone. So anyway, that's what's going on here tonight with the Dumble by Mojo Hand FX. And um, got a whole bunch of other stuff coming up. Yeah. Uh, our favorite right now is the field trips. We just put out some field trips We're at the guitar show. Fun. Um, got some guitar stores to go to on the list yet. Some cool stuff coming up with that. And some other stuff down here in the basement as we fool around with that. So yep. uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, hit notifications, hit the like, at least hit the like button if you've watched the whole thing. Uh, by YouTube statistics, you were gone about seven minutes ago. But anyway, if you're still here, like, and that's everybody. Both of you were gone seven <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> that's everybody's videos. Um, do all that wonderful stuff. So. Right. so with that, PJ, on behalf of The Beard, reminding you that no matter what you hear, you never have too much DMBL gear. <laughs>